Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a programmer for Victolic Tools for Revit. I want to talk today about a management tool that is in Victolic Tools for Revit called the Sequence Manager. The idea behind the Sequence Manager is to keep track of milestone dates per sequence of your project. Now whether this sequence is for delivery or for billing, uh, you can choose how to use it. But in the end, the assemblies and the elements in your project can be tied to these sequences and then organized properly. So let's get into it. The Sequence Manager can be found up in the Victolic Tools ribbon under Project Maintenance, Sequence Manager. You can also find it in the Assembly Manager. You'll see there's a dot, dot, dot button next to where it says Sequences. Okay, so either one. Opening the Sequence Manager will give you a blank palette to start creating sequences. So hit the plus button at the top right, and you'll see that a new sequence has been created. I can go ahead and name this one Sequence 1. And by default, there's a material on-site date. Okay, this is your, your single date that this sequence needs to be completed. And there are other milestone dates that you can include within this sequence. So we'll expand it on the left and hit this plus button. These are some default dates that we use in-house. You can always go and add your own, but for this one, let's say this is a shipping sequence, so I'm going to need to know when my drawings need to be completed by, when my material needs to be at the fabrication shop, and when my pipe needs to be at the fabrication shop. So I'll click OK, and you see these three dates appear at the bottom right here. So in theory, my drawings need to be completed first. So let's say the drawings need to be completed by the end of the month, my material will get to the fabrication maybe halfway through next month and my pipe gets to the fabrication around the same time. Okay, My material on site date, that's the date that it's actually going to get to the site. Uh, maybe that's a little bit out from fabrication and we'll say November 1st on that one. So this is just sequence one. So if we get one of these set up properly, it's really easy to copy them into a few more sequences. So I'll just hit this duplicate button over here and now sequence two and sequence three will be created. All you really have to do is just rename them. I'll expand the window a little bit. And now you can get a bird's eye view of all of the dates that are going to be required for you to get your project out on time. I'm gonna take a minute and fill this out as if it were a real project. So now that I have my sequences set up, let's go ahead and start applying some of our assemblies to these sequences. So I'll click OK here. And now within the assembly manager, I can organize by this group by at the top. And you'll notice that the column just to the right of the assembly name changes as I switch which group by option. OK, so for this one, I'm going to hit sequence. So now I can choose which of my assemblies get added to which sequence. So I'll go ahead and select sequence one. All right, now when I move on from that line, don't be alarmed if it disappears, because honestly, it just came down to the bottom and it's getting organized now by sequence. So I'll add a few more to sequence one. Okay, you'll see they're grouped all together at the bottom. And let's add a few to sequence two. And then a few to sequence three as well. Okay. Now that they've been added to these sequences, you can set up filters within your project. Our project template has this sequence view that you can use, and you can see what's been applied to each sequence, and it's all colorized. Okay. Now, ideally, you'll have all of your project components assigned to assemblies and assigned to sequences, and you'll see nothing at this point that is still black and white. So let's go back to the sequence manager. And we can tell that items have been assigned to these sequences by the areas being noted here on the left-hand side. Some mechanical room and some chiller area have been assigned to sequence one and sequence two. Now, how do we get this information out so we can actually manage our project? Uh, at the bottom left here, we have a Gantt chart output and we have a calendar output. First thing is we're going to want to assign some colors to these so we can differentiate them visually. So use this color picker right here. And then for each of the sequences, uh, choose a color.
Now for each one of these outputs, you'll see that sequence one, sequence two, and sequence three have chosen those colors. The Gantt chart will have a scale, so you can adjust it as necessary. Okay, and the calendar will use the same legend, and you'll be able to see on a calendar where your dates will actually fall. Okay, so that's the sequence manager for Victaulic Tools for Revit. Hopefully it helps you better manage your project milestone dates and deliverables. Thanks for watching.